But so old age homes are feeling the financial impact of COVID-19 in Cape Town. The race is now on to try to stop the closure of three welfare homes. The Cape Peninsula Organization for the Aged has decided to close them due to financial pressure. It says it's unable to continue running the facilities in Bishop Levis, Bontiheville and Heidefeld. Affected residents will be relocated, but some community and religious leaders are fighting the closure. Ian says Monique Mortlock has the story. Nedina Place in Bishop Lavis will be the first of the CPOA's wealthy homes to be closed. 88 residents from this facility will be moved in small groups to other CPOA homes where there are beds available. Altogether, 300 residents from Nerina Place, Oakhaven and Lilyhaven will be relocated to the CPOA's two remaining wealthy homes in Lotus River and Athlone. But family members, like the daughters of 81-year-old Nerina Place resident Clara Williams, are worried. This move is not going to have a good, a good impact on her mental health and on her mental state. And I'm not talking only about my mom, I'm talking about all the other residents in that home. If Williams is moved, it will make visits near impossible for a daughter, Anne Paulsa, who has a disability, making it difficult for her to walk. Concerned residents and community leaders are protesting against the closure. This is a joint venture from leaders in Bontival, leaders in Haderfeld, concerned residents, from Bishop Lavers. So we're all working together to see how we can come together, how we can put our heads together uh, to oppose this, the closing. The CPOA says ongoing financial pressure due to the pandemic has made the running of five sub-economic wealthy homes unsustainable. Even subsidies from the Provincial Social Development Department haven't been enough to prevent an annual deficit of 33.5 million rand. Monique Mortlock, Cape Town.